Thank you, Mr. President, Majority Leader, Mindanao State University, Mr. President, not Marawi State University. Sorry, my apologies, Mindanao State University. Thank you, Mr. President. It was the Sunday of Mindanao Week of Peace. And for the entire Catholic Church, it was the first Sunday of Advent. The first of four Sundays where we light candles as a symbol of hope and signal our preparedness to welcome the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. However, this should have been joyous occasion for the faithful quickly became a day of sorrow. Magsisimba lang sana, Mr. President. Ngunit, ang naging kinahinatnan ay isang karahasang napakahirap tanggapin. Yesterday morning at around 7.30 a.m., during the celebration of the Mass at the Dimapuro Gymnasium of Mindanao State University, there was an ex improvised explosive device explosion, killing four people, injuring 45 others. Please allow me to show the barbaric act they committed inside my alma mater, the Mindanao State University. The people who attended Mass went to witness the lighting of a candle for Christmas. They did not expect that they would be lighting candles for the victims of this tragic event instead. I am sure that this August Chamber is one with me in expressing our heartfelt condolences to the families left behind, as well as our condemnation for this meaningless, barbaric, and cruel act. If the word unsuspecting were ever have an image equivalent, yesterday's incident would have captured it. 21-year-old Chris Hurado recalls, it was really sudden and everyone ran. When I looked behind me, people were lying on the floor. We didn't know what happened because everything happened so fast. Rowena May Fernandez, 19 years old, said she did not understand what happened either, and then she saw others running, which made her run too. We cannot even begin to imagine the shock and the trauma that our students and teachers are now going through. Unsuspecting, the students and teachers who gathered at the MSU gym to attend Mass, unsuspecting the respective bereaved loved ones and families who knew only that they were on their way to Mass, unsuspecting the rest of the region who just hours before was jolted by a series of strong earthquakes associated with the Philippine trends. Kung sa Bisaya pa, Mr. President, Kinsagod in town ang Magda home. Who would expect and prepare for the worst when all one intends to do is to take part in worship? No one, absolutely no one. But as I reflect on this heartbreaking attack, I realize this is exactly the way of terrorism to cut us off guard, attack us when we least expect. It. it is a betrayal of the most fundamental kind. It is an unforgivable act of violence, taking innocent lives without remorse and in the insidious guise of a noble cause. Mr. President, it was also in the Senate floor when I recounted my experience when I was still the city director of Davao City Police, wherein we had already caught two, two terrorists but we had to let them go because under the law, time was not on our side. Only to discover that one of them, a Filipino who joined the ISIS, had gone on to behead German nationals in Syria. We have come so far since then, Mr. President, especially 
with the passage of the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020, kahit pa may ilang sumubok para mapawalang visa ang batas na ito, nagpapasalamat tayo sa naging desisyon ng Korte Suprema kung saan binigyan nila ng importansya ang pagkakaroon natin ng bagong batas para pigilan at subpuin ang terorismo. Pahintulutan ninyo ako na basahin ang ilang bahagi ng kanilang desisyon. Terrorism is no ordinary crime as emphasized. Terrorism is not confined to a particular space and time. It is often shrouded by uncertainty and invisibility. Unlike a typical war where armed hostilities are clearly apparent, Most terrorist activities, including training, financing, and other forms of preparation, involve months or even years of clandestine planning. Terrorists have significantly improved their capabilities over time and expanded their vast resources, which include inter alia, sophisticated training, and the addition of weapons of mass destruction in their arsenal. The pervasive problem of terrorism requires intervention that not only punishes an act when it is done, but also anticipates risk to disrupt and preempt a terrorist act before irreversible harm is done without sacrificing and undermining the fundamental freedoms recognized in the Bill of Rights. Bearing in mind the immense responsibility of the government to protect its pe people and defend the state, the court cannot simply disregard the realities on the ground and the complex problem of terrorism, not only in the Philippines, but across the globe. The Supreme Court is correct. Terrorism is a complex problem shrouded with uncertainty and invisibility. As terrorists try to strike fear in our hearts, they also attempt to threaten, to destroy all that we have worked hard for. And when I say everything we have worked hard for, I do not just mean the passage of the anti-terror law. I also mean the long-standing peace shared by both Muslims and Christians at the Mindanao State University, Mr. President. This peace, this harmony, is what prevails on and off campus. Ako ang makapagpatunay, Mr. President, dahil ako mismo ay nakapag-aral doon sa emisyo. I am a living, breathing witness. Regardless of your religion, peace and love constitute the rule rather than the exception for all at emisyo. This is how and why I am so certain that this is a terrorist attack It is not rooted in any authentic acceptance of God and holiness. There can be no possible euphemism for it. It is an act of evil, plain and simple. The students and teachers of Emisio consider the university as their second home. They consider this as their safe place for learning, shaping their dreams and establishing lasting relationships. Sa pagsabog ng bumba sa gitna ng kanilang gymnasium, kung saan idiniraos ang kanilang mga masasayang school activities, na wala ang kanilang sense of security sa kanilang pangalawang tahanan. Ngayon, bunsod ng trauma at pag-aalala sa ang terrorist act na kanilang naranasan. Nagsimula na pong lisanin ng mga estudyante ng MSU ang kanilang pinakamamahal na pamantasan na kumukup sa kanila at naging bahagi ng kanilang pang-araw-araw na buhay. In the face of evil, then we cannot be found idle, doing nothing. In the aftermath of the bombing incident, the divine call for our collective solidarity and unwavering res resilience resounds even louder. I urge the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police to keep doing what they do best. Excuse me. 
Protect our people. I implore you to ensure as much as you can that such act of terror will be stopped. If your preliminary investigations are correct, and this is indeed a retaliation to the work that you have been doing, particularly against the Daula Islamia Mauti group, I understand that you may be afraid of what else may happen. Nevertheless, may our love for our country always be greater than our fear. I urge our local government units to keep an extra watchful eye on your jurisdictions and on your constituents. You are the partners of our military and law enforcement personnel. Wag po tayong panghinaan ng loob. Let us stay vigilant for the sake of our people. I urge the nation, pray, do not lose faith. Alam niyo po, ginoong Pangulo, ang nasabing pagsabog ay nangyari pagkatapos ng keriye. For those of us who are unfamiliar with it, this is the part that comes before the first reading, the part where the congregation asks God for His pardon and mercy. Nakahingi muna sila na kapatawaran, Mr. President. And this is the part of the story that sends chills down my spine. While the victims were killed in an unforgivable act of terrorism, and despite the seeming darkness of the situation, the light of forgiveness and mercy is still ever-present. I am not one to preach, but I would like to believe that this in itself was a miracle from which we can still draw hope to go on. Kung kaya sa ating lahat, tayo'y patuloy pa rin na magtiwala at manalig. Terrorists succeed only if we allow ourselves to be paralyzed by the terror they sow. It is our togetherness and unity in this time of sorrow that we will send a clear message to the perpetrators. They have failed. We are not afraid. Let us not allow terror to reign. Let us look instead to the way of peace. The same peace that the students, teachers, and administrators of the Mindanao State University, as well as the entire Mindanao, have nurtured over the years. And in doing so, may we always let this peace prevail. Candles bring light in the dark. It symbolizes hope that something better awaits every one of us. We will not forget the true meaning and purpose of lighting the candle red. It is the birth of Jesus, a sign of God's love and commitment to mankind. As we light candles for the souls of the victims of this horrific incident, let them be symbols of our solidarity. Let them be, let them be symbols of our commitment to the victims and their family that the government will shed light on the cause of this unfortunate tragedy and hold accountable those who perpetrated this terrorist act. Dagang salamat, Mr. President. Sir President. Yes, Majority Leader. Mr. President, may I just be allowed to make a uh, short manifestation, Mr. President? Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, let me uh, state and put into the record my sincerest thanks and gratitude to our dear colleague, Senator Bato de la Rosa, and I'd like to associate myself with the privileged speech of the gentleman from uh, Davao and Bohol. Uh, Mr. President, with a uh, heavy, heavy heart, this representation would like to extend our sincerest condolences to the families who lost their loved ones and stand in solidarity uh, with the survivors who were all victims of the uh, explosion during the uh, celebration of the Catholic Mass at the Mindanao State University in Marawi City. Again, Mr. President, my thoughts and the prayers are with uh, all of you. Mr. President, this representation strongly condemns the heinous act of violence against innocent individuals 
who were gathered, Mr. President, to celebrate their faith in the most solemn way. Inside a state university, Mr. President. And that is why I would say this over and over again. That this is a demonic attack. This demonic attack is not just an assault on a particular group. It is an attack on every individual's right and fundamental freedom. And so we denounce, Mr. President, this senseless and cowardly act that aims to divide our nation and assaults our shared values of harmony, peace, and coexistence. Mr. President, you and I are very much aware of this representation's advocacy on religious freedom. You would recall, Mr. President, during the deliberation of your pet bill, now Republic Act Number 11054, or the Organic Law for the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, we push for the inclusion of a provision that will guarantee religious freedom and the free exercise thereof in the Bangsamoro territory. During the bicameral conference committee hearing, this representation was even asked by the members of the Bicam Commission of Committee, Mr. President, to lead the way to introduce this particular provision, Mr. President. And this is to ensure that all people in the Bangsamoro region are protected from harassment or any undue pressure, coercion, and violence on account of religion. Mr. President, clearly, as mentioned by Senator Bato, this is a terror attack. And we will not be divided as a nation in this particular incident. We, the more that we will be united and show the world that we are in unity in pulverizing these terror acts. Mr. President, it is really unfortunate that this tragic incident happened. And so we call on our PNP, our AFP, and all government authorities. Kung kinakailangan po, hindi tayo matulog, ginoong Pangulo, hanggang, hanggang mahuli natin ang mga perpetrators na ito. We call on all our law enforcement agencies to exert their best efforts in finding the perpetrators and deliver justice for all. Thank you, Mr. President. And again, I'd like to associate myself with the uh, privileged speech of Senator Bato de la Rosa. Mm -hmm. Sir President, our Senate President Pro Temp is also seeking the floor. I move that she be recognized. And after that, Senator Gachalian, Senator Revilla, Senator Tulfo, and Senator Padilla, Mr. President. Thank yes, you. Yes, I distinguish um, Senate President Pro Tempore, Senator Legard is the first. Thank you, Mr. President. Majority Leader, I would like to associate myself with a heartfelt privilege speech of Senator Bato de la Rosa. As your co-chairperson of the Senate contingent to the Philippine Congress Bangsamoro Parliament Forum, which was established because of the law that you authored, Mr. President, I deeply grieve along with each and every colleague here in our hall today over the loss of lives and the injuries and yesterday's blast inside the gymnasium during mass of Mindanao State University in Marawi City that killed five as of last count and injured more than 60. We strongly condemn such barbaric acts on innocent civilians. There is no place in any civilized society for this inhumane act. Local security forces are working with the MSU main campus. The president himself has directed the PNP, the AFP, to closely collaborate with local law enforcement agencies in the conduct of a swift and thorough investigation of the incident. We remember the United Nations Declaration on the Right of Peoples to Peace, and I quote, solemnly proclaims that the peoples of our planet have a sacred right to peace, unquote. The PCBPF has been working on establishing intergovernmental relations through legislation and collaboration in pursuit of peace in the Bangsamoro region through discussions on decommissioning and the establishment of Sharia district courts. The United Imams of the Philippines have condemned the incident, which is against all human and Islamic norms. They reminded that in Islam, the only wars that are permitted 
are between armies and they should engage on battlefields and engage nobly. We urge all to exercise sobriety and obtain factual information. We support the Bangsamoro government in its action to provide immediate response and assistance to the victims. And we extend our deepest and heartfelt condolences to the families of the victims. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Majority Leader. Senator Gachalian, Mr. President, is seeking the floor. I move that he be recognized. I receive his colleague from the city of Valenzuela, Senator Gachalian. Th thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, thank you, Majority Leader. Mr. President, esteemed colleagues, today we stand united in grief and outrage over the heinous and despicable bombing in Marawi. Yesterday, in a place meant for solace and prayer inside the gymnasium, gymnasium of Mindanao State University, a Catholic mass was brutally, brutally disrupted by an act of terror. terror. This, horrific, this horrific incident also happened during the Mindanao Week of Peace. But instead of peace, what we witnessed was a ruthless assault on our humanity. Lives were lost. Numerous individuals were injured, and the community was shattered by senseless violence. I vehemently condemn this act of terrorism in the strongest possible terms. To target a place of prayer within the confines of the university where worshippers, including students and faculty, convene in the pursuit of spiritual solace is an ab abomination. It is more than an attack, not just on the place of worship, but also at the core of the university itself, an institution dedicated to nurturing the very essence of humanity, such as peace, tolerance, and the profound respect for diverse beliefs among our learners. This barbarity has no place in a civilized society. I also extend my deepest condolences to the, family, to the victims' families and express my solidarity with the community. Sila ay mga inosenteng individual na walang kasalanan, kundi ang maging biktima ng karumal-dumal na pag-atake. Ang kanilang mga pangarap, pag-asa at buhay mismo ay biglang nawala sa isang igla. Mr. President, this tragedy served as a stark reminder of the pressing need to eradicate terrorism from its roots. It confronts us with the challenge to uphold a safe place for learning and dialogue where people seek enlightenment, not chaos. We will not allow these cowards to sow fear and division among us. We will defend our democracy and stand united against any form of violence that will threaten peace in our communities. This is not the first time that terrorists targeted a place of worship in Bindanao. Similarly, improvised explosive devices also triggered the bombing of the Cathedral of Our Lady of Mount Carmel in Hulo, Sulu back in, 20, in January 2019, causing the deaths of 23 people. This attack also happened during a Sunday Mass when the faithful were gathered in prayer and communion. In the wake of this tragic event, I call for thorough investigation to, swift, to swiftly ensure that the perpetrators are brought to justice. Sama-sama nating labanan ang anumang banta sa kaligtasan ng mga inosenteng mamayan. Hindi natin papayagan ang mga walang awa at walang kon konsensyang mga terorista na sirain ang ating bayan at ang ating pananampalataya. Hindi, hindi rin natin hahayaang magasik pa sila ng takot at hidwaan sa ating mga kababayan. Further, I earnestly urge for unity and cooperation while advocating for lessening the spread of this disinformation. It is imperative that we join forces, setting aside our differences to address this crisis collectively. But as we strive for peace and justice, let us also not forget to care for the psychological well-being of the MSU community and Marawi residents who have been traumatized by this attack. They need our support and compassion, especially in this time of crisis. They need to know that they are not alone, that we are here for them, and that we will help, we will help them heal and recover. As safe spaces for discussion and resolution, our state university should be protected from all acts of violence. They are places where we can foster a culture of peace and democracy, not violence and fear.
Let us stand together and rally to protect our state universities from any threat that may undermine their academic freedom and integrity. As a concrete manifestation of our solidarity and concern, this representation also filed a resolution to condemn this barbaric act and urge the authorities to take necessary steps to ensure the safety of the citizens and mitigate further similar attacks. Mr. President, we stand united in hope and faith that we will overcome this challenge. We will not let this tragedy define us or break us. We will rise from the ashes and rebuild our lives. We will restore the peace and harmony that we cherish and deserve. To the Islamic State militants who claim responsibility over this horrific tragedy, hear this, your attack on the innocent holds no justification, carries no significance, and finds no place in our society. It is a sign of weakness and a lack of respect for life. Rest assured, you will face the full consequences of your crimes against humanity, as justice will prevail against such acts of brutality, of barbarity. Thank you, Mr. President, esteemed colleagues. Mr. President, Thank, agenda, you Senator Thank you, Mr. President. The gentleman from uh, Cavite, Senator Ramon Bong Revilla Jr., is also seeking the floor. I move that he be recognized, Mr. President. Our distinguished colleague from uh, the province of Cavite, Senator Bong Revilla, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Nakikidalamhati po tayo sa mga pamilyang naulila sa Marawi sa naganap na pag, uh, pagsabog sa Dimoporo Gym sa Mindanao State University. It is not only senseless, but it is utterly ruthless. Walang puwang sa lipunan ng ganitong klaseng pag-atake, lalo na sa mga ganitong lugar o pagtitipon. Places of education and worship should be safe havens regardless of religion. Napakawalang puso, napakalupit. Mahihiya si satanas sa kasamaan ng mga gumawa nito. Anuman ang rason, hindi dapat buhay ng mga inosente at walang kinalaman sa kaguluhan ang kapalit. Napakasagrado ng buhay. Kailanman na hindi magiging sapat ang anumang ideolohiya at ipinaglalaban upang ipangtubos sa buhay ng mga walang muwang na nagkataon lamang na mapayapang dumalo sa misa. Saan mang ang gulo tingnan, ang ganitong klaseng kabuhungan ay hindi kayang bigyan ng katuwiran. These cowardly individuals can never look their victims in the eye. Paano nila harapin ang mga pamilya ng kanilang biktima na ng biktima na nagdusa sa kanilang pagkamatay? Pilit nilang iginigiit ang kanilang pinaglalaban ngunit tiyak na kahit anong paliwanag at kahit anong kasidhi ang kanilang uh, pananalig sa kanilang paniniwala, hindi nito may babalik ang mga buhay. Na sinayang. At lalong hindi nito kayang pantayan ang sakit na idinulot nila sa mga naulila. Those who are signing their name in this uh, depravity should not be given the satisfaction of gaining infamy for their wickedness. Sa halip na bigyan sila na plataforma upang pala, palaganapin ang kanilang buktot na paniniwala, dapat silang Paghimasi ng malalamig na rehas. Mr. President, condemnation will never be enough. Kailangan may mapanagot. Kailangan may maparusan sa mga buhay na walang habis na kinitil. This is why we must call on our law enforcement agencies to act swiftly. Hayaang sagpangin ng pangilang batas sa mga demonyong nasa likod ng karasang ito. Maraming salamat, Mr. President. Maraming salamat, Senator Rovilla. Mr. President, uh, Senator Robin Hood Padilla is also seeking the floor. I move that he be recognized, Mr. President. Senator Robin Hood Padilla is recognized. Maraming salamat po, uh, Ginoong Pangulo at sa ating uh, Pinunong Mayorya. 
A'udhu billahi minasyaitanur rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Bismillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ito pong katagang assalamualaikum. Ito po ay isa sa pinakamahalaga sa isang muslim. Ito po ay uh, hindi ka matatawag na isang muslim kung hindi mo ito isinasabuhay. Ito po ay ang pagpapangaral ng kapayapaan. At ako po ay uh, nagpapasalamat sa mga kasama po natin na senador sa araw na ito, lalong-lalo na po kay uh, Senator uh, Bato de la Rosa, kay Senator Loren Ligarda, kay Senator uh, Joel, kay Senator Bong Ribilla, at kay Senator Wynne Gatsalian sapagkat napakalinaw po sa kanilang mga paliwanag na wala pong kinalaman ang religion sa nangyaring ito. Ito po ay uh, paglilinaw sapagkat napakarami pong lumalabas sa social media na gustong parang ibalik ang mga iniiwasan po nating mga katagang away ito ng Muslim at Kristiyano na ito po ay uh, gusto nilang paigtingin. Ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa mga kaibigan kasama natin sa Senado sapagkat napakalinaw po na wala po ito sa katuruan ng aming religion. Ito pong dayuhang ideolohiya na ito. Kailanman hindi po ito naging ideology ng mga tinatawag po nating uh, nagbalik loob katulad po ng nasa Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao at ganun din po sa MNLF. Wala po ito kahit kailan na nagkaroon ng ganitong klaseng paniniwala na sa loob, sa loob ng pagsamba ng ating mga kapatid na katoliko, sila po ay pasasabugin. Hindi po ito kailanman matatanggap ng mga Muslim na ito po ay kasama sa aming pananampalataya dahil malinaw po sa banal na Quran na sinasabi ang pumatay ka ng taong walang kasalanan ay parang mo nang pinatay ang buong daydig. At ganun din po ang sinasabi ng banal na Quran na there is no compulsion in religion. Wala pong pilitan sa religion. Kaya meron pong kalayaan ng bawat isa kung ano po ang kanilang pinipiling relihiyon. Ngayon po, mahal na Pangulo, ang aking pong isasambitin ay patungkol po sa aking binanggit noong nandito po ang uh, OPAPRO noong panahon, na, panahon ng kanilang budget hearing. Binanggit ko na po ito at ako po ay muling magpapasalamat uli sa mga kapatid ko pong senador na nagpapasa na mabigyan po uli ng budget ang Marawi Compensation Board. Sa pangkat Napakahalaga po na ang mga naging biktima ng Marawi siege ay mapaka sa kanila po uli kung ano man po ang naipangako sa kanila ng gobyerno. At ganun din po ang hinihinging budget ng OPAPRO para naman po doon sa mga combatants ng MILF na inaantay pa po hanggang ngayon yung kanilang hinihingi po na binangako sa kanila ng gobyerno. Dahil mahal na Pangulo, ito pong kaganapan nito at napatunayan na rin po at nasabi na rin po ni Senator Bato de la Rosa na ito pong nangyaring ito ay retaliation ng, uh, ng teroristang grupo sa nangyaring operasyon ng ating forces, military forces. At yaan po ay hindi lamang po yan nangyari sa Cotabato kundi nangyayari din po yan sa Basilan. Bago po nangyari ito, meron na pong nangyaring uh, uh, namatayan tayo ng dalawang kafgo sa Basilan sa kanilang ginagawang operasyon laban po sa mga teroristang ito. Ito po ay tuloy-tuloy. Pero tandaan po natin, mahal na Pangulo, na hindi po puro gera ang sagot natin dito. Kailangan po natin makuha ang puso at kaisipan ng mga tao na hanggang sa ngayon ay hindi pa rin po naniniwala sa tawag ng ating kapayapaan dahil sa mga pangako po na hindi pa rin naibibigay sa kanilang mga tatay, lolo, uncle, 
Ito pong mga gumagawa na ito ay napapatunayan natin, mga bata ito. Ito pong nangyaring inkwentro sa Cotabato kung saan marami pong namatay ang mga terorista. Kung makikita nyo po ang mga larawan, mga bata po ito. Mga batang naliligaw sa isang dayuhang. Dayuhan. Dayuhan po ito. Hindi po ito Pilipino. Hindi po ito Bangsamoro. Dayuhang ideolya na nakarating dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya po, mga mahal kong uh, kasama sa bulwagang ito, kung gaano po natin pinaiigting ang ating puwersa laban sa external threats, ito pong internal threats na nandito na ngayon sa ating bayan, ay huwag po nating pabayaan. Lalo po natin palakasin ang ating uh, suporta sa ating military, sa intelligence, upang uh, lalo pong igtingin nila ang operasyon laban dito sa mga dayuhan na ito. Sapagkat, mahal na Pangulo, nandito po sila. Sila po ay napigilan lamang natin noong Marawi siege sapagkat talagang ginera po natin sila pero sila po ay nananatili dito. Kaya po muli, ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong suporta, sa inyo pong binibigay, uh, lalong-lalo na po sa nakaraang budget, napakalaking bagay po yon na muli po niyong tutulungan ang Marawi Compensation Board at ang OPA Pro. Ang gusto ko lamang pong huli, huling sabihin, mga mahal kong kasama, ang pasasalamat sa inyong lahat na inyo pong niliwanag na wala pong kinalaman ang Islam dito. Ito po ay mga terorista at kailanman hindi po sila ang representasyon ng mga Muslim. Maraming salamat. Salamat po. Maraming salamat. Senator. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Robin Hood. Next to... Uh, 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 next one who is seeking the floor, Mr. President, is uh, Senator Rafi Tulfo. I move that uh, he be recognized. And then afterwards, Senator Bongo and Senator Risa Ondiveros. Our distinguished colleague, Senator Rafi Tulfo, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President, and my dear colleagues, and to the Filipino public, lalo na sa ating mga kababayan sa Mindanao. Akin pong maring kinukundin ang nangyaring pambobomba sa Mindanao State University sa Marawi kung saan 11 na po ang namatay at 45 po ang nasugatan. Walang puwang sa ating bansa ang ganitong karumaldumal na atake. Ang pagpapasabog sa isang eskwelahan, isang lugar na dapat ay neutral sa kahit anong sigalot at habang nasa isang religious ceremony, ang mga tao ay hindi katanggap-tanggap ito po ay isang plain and simple na kaduwagan. Mga kababayan, huwag po tayo papayag na sirain ng mga ito ang kapayapaan sa ating bansa. Lalong-lalo na ang kapayapaan na unti-unti na nating pinagtulungan na ibalik sa Marawi. Sa mga kapatid natin sa Marawi na napektuhan ng pagsabog, makaasa po kayo na hindi kami bibitaw. At ipagpapatuloy namin ang suporta sa inyo upang tuloy-tuloy ang pagbangon ng Marawi. Para sa mga pamilya ng mga nasawi, pati na rin po ang mga nasaktan, kami po ay nagpagdalamhati sa inyo at hindi po namin kayo pababayaan. Nandito ang inyong Senado sa tulong ng National Government at LGU na siguraduhin na ang agarang tulong ay makarating sa inyo. Sa sampayan ng Pilipinas, tayo po ay manatiling kalmado. Huwag po tayo agad-agad gagawa ng konklusyon sa nangyaring pagsabog. Ang gusto po ng gumawa nito ay pabanggain ng iba't ibang sektor. Hindi tayo dapat magpadala sa mga ganitong diskusyon dahil isa lang po ang sigurado dito. Ang naganap na pagbomba ay isang act of terrorism na ang nais ay maghasik ng takot sa mga tao at i-destabilize ang kayusan sa ating bansa. Ngayon pa lamang ating mga enforcers, pati na rin ang AFP, ay gumagalaw na upang panatilihin ang seguridad ng ating mga kababayan sa Marawi. At bilang inyong senador, kaysa po ako sa mga tututok upang maimbestigan ito agad para malaman at mahuli ang may kagagawan nito at mawalang agam-agam at spekulasyon sa ating mga kababayan. Muli, nananawagan ako sa mga sambayan ng Pilipinas na ating respetuhin ang isa't isa. Magkakaibangan tayo ng reliyon 
paniniwala at kultura, isang lahi po tayo. Lahat tayo Pilipino. Ang Pilipinas ay para sa Marawi, ang Marawi ay Pilipinas. Thank you, Mr. President. Marami salamat. Mr. President, Senator Bongo is seeking the floor. I move that uh, he be recognized for Mr. President. Senator Bongo is recognized. Mr. President, uh, bilang isang uh, Mindanaoan rin po, would like to uh, deliver a short manifestation regarding the recent uh, terrorist attack which uh, took place in uh, Marawi yesterday, December 3. I strongly condemn this uh, cowardly terrorist attack during a uh, mass inside uh, Mindanao State University, Marawi, that uh, killed numerous innocent people and uh, injured uh, many others. Taus puso akong nakikiramay sa mga pamilya ng mga namatayan at uh, nasaktan sa pag ito. Masakit para sa sinumang magulang, kapatid o anak ang mawala ng mahal sa buhay, lalo na kundulot ng karahasan. As Vice Chair of uh, both Senate Committees on National Defense and Public Order, Mr. President, I call upon our law enforcement bodies to hunt down whoever is responsible and punish them with the full force of the law. Moreover, acts of terrorism in uh, educational institutions like the Mindanao State University must be condemned Ensuring the safety of students in schools from terrorist threats is a paramount priority to fostering a secure learning environment. Mr. President, we know that the function of terrorism is to terrorize people as we allow, if we allow ourselves to be terrorized, terrorists win. As such, we must remain united and should not allow this crime to trigger sectarian hatred and further animosity among uh, Filipino people. Our brothers and sisters in Marawi have already emerged from the dark ashes of the Marawi siege. Uh, di pa nga po totally talaga nakaka-recover yung mga kababayan natin. Nabanggit po kanina, tuloy-tuloy pa rin po yung uh, compensation. In fact, talagang kulang pa rin po yung compensation nila. At... Uh, di pa sila totally nakaka-recover doon. Yung mga gusali doon, di pa natatayo totally. At naalala ko, uh, 2017, 10 times po kaming pumunta ni former President uh, Duterte mismo doon sa Marawi, kung saan po uh, nagaganap yung uh, gera nung uh, panahong yon At nalulungkot po ako na uh, eto na naman po, meron na naman tayong mga teroristang nananakot. We must not... Al we must not let another terrorist act derail efforts of achieving long-term peace and development in Marawi City, where people of different faiths have historically coexisted in harmony and mutual respect. Mas marami pong mga kababayan natin na gusto pong mabuhay ng uh, tahimik at walang uh, karahasan. Magtulungan po tayo. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, our Deputy Minority Leader, Senator Lisa Honteveros, is that she be recognized. And then afterwards, Senator Francis Tolentino. Thank you, Mr. President. Salamat kaayo, uh, Mr. President. Um, kanina umaga, nagpahayag po ako sa ating mga kababayan ng katiyakan na walang justification talaga po para sa ganitong gawain ng purong pagkamuhi at karahasan. Kaisa po ako ng buong bansa sa pakikiramay sa lahat ng nabiktima ng terror bombing incident sa Mindanao State University, Marawi City, at sa pagsingil ng hustisya mula sa Islamic State at lahat ng nasa likod nitong atake laban sa mga inosente. Suportado natin ang PNP, ang AFP at iba pang ahensya sa paghahanap ng buong katotohanan at katarungan ukol sa terror attack na ito. Nananawagan din ako sa ating law enforcement agencies na palakasin ang security efforts sa mga eskwelahan at iba pang pampublikong lugar upang maiwasan ang anumang banta pa sa seguridad ngayong holiday season. At huwag po tayong magkakamali Mr. President, ang ataking ito, gaya ng sinabi ng good gentleman mula sa Davao na si Sendoroy de la Rosa at ng ating iba pang mga kasama, itong ataking ito 
ay may sadyang magtanim ng pagkakahati-hati at kawalan ng pagtitiwala sa pagitan nating mga Pilipino. At ngayong hapon, Mr. President, kasunod ng privilege speech ng good gentleman mula sa Davao at ng good gentleman din uh, mula sa Bicol at uh, Mindanao, si Sen. Robin Padilla. Nais ko po lang idagdag, napaka-sakit talaga at napaka-bastos ng timing na ginamit ng gumawa nitong terror action. Misa para sa unang linggo ng Adviento. Ang unang linggo pa naman ng Adviento para sa ating mga Katoliko at alam ng lahat ng mga mananampalataya ay may temang pag-asa. At yung pag-asang iyon ang gustong pasabugin at durugin ng mga gumawa ng terror attack na ito. At pangalawa, Mr. President, nabanggit po ng ilang mga kasama natin ang mahalagang patuloy na trabaho ng Marawi Compensation Board. Alam niyo po mga kasama, isa pang balita natin mula sa Marawi City ngayong araw ay sinuspinde muna ng Marawi Compensation Board ang pag-award nila ng compensation ngayong linggo ng ikaapat hanggang ikawalo ng Disyembre. At yan, at yan ang ganyang long-term effect na gustong likain na mga gumawa at gumagawa ng ganitong klaseng mga terror action. Isa-isang tabi ang pag-asa, bigyang daan ang pagkabigo, ang resentment, at ang lahat pa ng mga sama ng loob na ginagamit nila para sa kanilang madilim na layunin. Kaya dagan salamat Mr. President at nakikisa po ako sa privilege speech ng good gentleman mula sa Davao at sa lahat ng ating mga kasama na kinokondena itong terror act na ito. Susuporta sa pagbibigay daan ng katotohanan at katarungan sa mga namatayan at mga nasugatan at ang buong komunidad ng MSU Marawi City at patuloy tayo pong lahat bilang Senado, patuloy na magsusulong ng pangarap nating lahat ng isang tunay, makatarungan at pangmatagalang kapayapaan sa buong bansa. Salamat kaayo, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Mr. President, move that we recognize the gentleman from Cavite, Senator Francis Tolentino. Senator Tolentino is recognized. President, Mr. President, I join our colleagues as well as the uh, chairman of the Committee on Public Order as we collectively condemn this reprehensible act of violence that took place at the Mindanao State University. Mr. President, last week I was able to witness a public Committee on Public Order hearing chaired by Senator De La Rosa, wherein I heard parents cry due to the recruitment of the NPAs within campuses. Mr. President, it's about time that we strive for a Philippines wherein campuses will be sanctuaries of learning and not scenes of sorrow, Mr. President. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat. Senator J.V. Arsito is recognized. Yes, Mr. President. In connection with the previous speech of uh, Senator De La Rosa and the rest of our colleagues, I filed Senator Resolution number. 875 contained the recent bombing in MSU Marawi. And likewise, we urge the military and other law enforcement agencies to under stay, undertake the necessary steps to bring the perpetrators to justice. And likewise, again, we condemn this terroristic and cowardly act, and we pray for the victims. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, distinguished colleague. May I, also, may I also share my thoughts and feelings on the matter, my dear colleagues? I am I am deeply heartbroken sa pangyayari nitong linggong ito. Alam niyo po, pinaghirapan natin with Senator Coco and almost all of you here today itong Bangsamoro Organic Law. Kasi ito po nakita natin na political solution together with Senator Visa and all of us. We see it as a political solution to what they would like as a just and lasting peace. The operative word is just, not just peace. Talagang binuhusan natin ang pagod ng sakripisyo, ng iyak, ng dugo, ang pagpasa ng batas na ito. Sana hindi masayang po lahat ng sakripisyo ito. It, it's 
heartbreaking because almost five years has passed since Marawi now, or six years has passed since the Marawi incident where they took over the city. And since then, we have taken leaps and strides para mabigyan ng, ng pangmatagal ng kapayapaan itong region na ito. Ginawa natin lahat. Ako mismo, your honors, I was the author of the National Commission for Muslim Filipinos, which elevated it from the Office of Muslim Affairs to a cabinet rank secretary head of the NCMF. Para magbigyan ng boses ang ating mga kapatid na Muslim dito sa ating kabinete. Pumasa din po tayo ng isang batas ukol sa kanilang napaka uh, holy no? or uh, holy or hallow day which is Edil Adha. The, we passed together the Edil Adha law. Dahil nga sa ating bansa napakarami nating Christian holidays at napansin po natin na hindi natin nabigyan nang sapat na atensyon ng ating mga kapatid na Muslim. Sa pagpasa po natin ng Pangsamoro Organic Law, we gave them the autonomy that they have sought for for so long. Ano po yan? Pag-set up ng sarili nilang parlamento sa sarili nating bansa, we are republic. But in their territory of the Pangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao, they are governed by a parliament whose leader is chosen amongst themselves, which is the chief minister. We had given our brothers in the barm a block grant. Para hindi na po nila kailangan pumunta dito at umipala, uma, uh, umapela para sa kanilang pangangailangan na budget. Automatic na po ang budget sa kanila. We even created a Supreme Court for them, recognizing the Sharia law with the Sharia Supreme Court, with the Sharia Supreme Court justice, uh, justices, to show our respect on their religious beliefs and their culture. We even created a position of Wali. Wali is the respected leader who is supposed to be above the chief minister. Siya po, kung sa Malaysia pa, yan po yung hari. At uh, yan po yung appointed ng napakaraming sektor. At sila po nag appoint yan. Ang gusto ko sabihin po mga kababayan, hindi po, wala po tayong pagkukulang sa paglabas po ng ating kamay sa ating mga kapatid, sa lahat ng sulok ng ating bansa na minamahal natin sila ang gobyerno ay nagmamahal sa kanila. Even after the Marawi incident, we passed the Compensation Act of uh, Senator Bato de la Rosa na nayong pinupondohan na po natin together with the projects of OPA. Kaya, gusto po din natin umapela sa Bangsamoro Autonomous Government. Tulungan niyo po ang ating gobyerno hanapin itong mga balasubas Walang hiya at mga, ano, uh, I can't even say the words without being stricken off the record, na mga taong ito, na dapat pulihin to mga ito, hanapin kung saan sila. If they are foreign in nature, mas mabuti. Utilize the Bureau of Immigration and all our assets and intelligence officers and make sure we apprehend these individuals immediately because they do not represent the religion tamang sinabi ni senator Robin Hood Padilla marami pong mga kapatid kong muslim kapit bahay ko po sa Mindanao ay napakabait they are the first to help government and they are the first to assist in all programs for peace and prosperity so matter of fact yun nagbigay po ng mga information sa akin Nung araw ng bombing ay ating mga kapatid na Muslim na nakatira sa Marawi. At sila po'y galit na galit dahil ang sabi nila, dyan na naman, babalik na naman ang galit ng buong Pilipinas sa amin. Kaya ako din, yung, ako din ay umapila sa ating mga kababayan. Hindi po ito kasalanan ng reliyon. Hindi po yan ang tinuturo ng kanilang reliyon. At tama po sinabi 
Peace, Senator Robin Padilla. When you greet a fellow Muslim, you say, Assalamu alaikum, which is, peace be with you. And you answer, Malaikum Asalam, which is also the same greeting. Peace also be upon you, my dear brother. Ganon ang kanilang billion. Kaya, nakakasakit sa puso dahil gusto po natin na magkaroon ng pangmatagal na kapayapaan sa lugar na ito. Right after the APPF pa ito. Ah. And you know, our Muslim brothers in the APPF were so proud of the peace process. But like any other government, an ideology which is radical as theirs is very difficult to extinguish. And tama sinabi ni Senator Robin, ito yung mga bata na yun na lumalaban at nadadala sa kanilang ideology. As a fellow Mindanawan, I can only hope and pray that our area, our land in the South will continue to flourish due to peace and all the peace efforts that we are doing for our countrymen there. And I hope and pray that we continue the efforts and not slow down the efforts because of this tragic incident of extending our arms for peace to all our Kababayans in the region and to those radicalized and continue to sow violence we ask the armed forces of the Philippines and all our armed services to apprehend these people as soon as possible time and bring justice to all the victims of those who have died in Marawi, all these innocent lives, all these people praying for peace. My feeling is beyond words, and I am just so heartbroken. But we must do our job and soldier on. Therefore, I like to order the secretary that on Wednesday we will have an executive session and invite the DND, the Philippine National Police, the AFP, NSA, and the NICA to be with us to brief the Senate on the situation. And we appeal to our people who are listening in not to be afraid and not to be coward, not to be cowed by this incident. We continue to do our daily lives and show them that we are not afraid and we will continue to stand up against violence. Parami salamat. Thank you, Majority Florida.